I'm continuing now over to page 167. So I skipped a little bit. You do that part on your own. And on page 167, we're going to enter the date. I should leave one line after my, uh, and I see that I, uh, I'll tell you about that as long as I'm on the video. Do you see how there's a lot of space here between the two lines? And that's because I'm taking things out of order. Somewhere I missed in there where they had you click no spacing style. By default, that default means that's the way it is unless you change it. When you start a document, it will choose normal style for you. And with normal style, every time you press the enter key, if you look on the page layout tab, it adds extra space after the paragraph, which you might want, you might not want. Well, in my case, I don't want it. And so they did give you an instruction, which I skipped since I'm skipping around, that said choose no spacing style. And when I do that, you can see that my enter keys are bumped right up against each other vertically. All right, I would like to insert custom tab stops. And you might think that you can just tab over, tab, 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 and that will work. But it's not the right way to do it for the computer. Com typewriter is fine, but not computer. Because if you look at the ruler bar here, I now have a first line indent paragraph you can see the parts of the house. You see the first floor and second floor of the house here and the chimney of the house over here. Well, that shows an indentation. Whereas what I want to see is when I set a tab, I will have a letter L because it's a left tab. I'd have a backwards little air, letter, letter L for a right tab. But anyway, I want to have a tab stop set. When you submit your assignment, I will check to be sure that you actually set the tab. In order to do that, first we'll display the ruler, and then I'll show you how to set the tab. Right now, there's no ruler showing, but I would like to view the ruler. So I will go up to the View tab, and then click Ruler on the left-hand side. View tab, and then Ruler. And now you see I have a ruler here. And I'll show you that if I press the tab key to move over, actually it didn't even change the indent on it when you're trying to display something. Notice that I have these little right arrows. That means I press the tab key. But what I'm going to do is go up to number four on the ruler bar. They said number four. It's just past center is what it is. Up, take my mouse up to number four on the ruler bar and click once, and now you'll see that I have my letter L. You do have to get your mouse in the right place. And by the way, if you didn't get it quite on target, you can always click and drag it left or right to make it correct. And if you found that you got two by mistake, that's very common, you can just click and drag down to remove it. Drag it right off the ruler. So I'm going to set a left tab, and now when I press the tab key, it goes all the way over for me with one arrow key over to that four, and then I can type the date. They have you do date with a form with a button, but that's okay, whatever. The same is true when you come down to do the closing and signature. They should be still there. That left tab should be there. If not, you set it and make it yourself.